Brittany. Hold on. Are you there? Ah! <laughs> can you hear me? I can. <laughs> okay, good. I can hear you too. Okay. So me just casually rolling in 11 minutes late. I apologize. I was like, oh, my session started at three. And then my, my uh, outlook like it did came up while I was making tea. And I was like, she knows me. She knows me. It's yeah. going to be okay. It's going to be fine. Yeah. So I apologize on that. Obviously, we have the whole time. Um, I have to tell you that um, when I opened up your appointment, I did scream. Like I was very excited. So I just want to let you know that. And it makes a little sense too. Now you're my first client of the day. It's also Monday. So I, I get hit with every message you can possibly have. I guess you would say with like people trying to come in and talk about stuff. But um, I was editing content today and I had some very pushy guy show up. And now I think I know who it was. Um, and uh, I... See, this is, hold on, give me a second, okay? You already know how I do this. They were talking about, like, now, and they keep talking about January again. It actually came up on my spirit box as well. I'll, I'll show you a picture. Um, and this is the way it felt. It felt like there was somebody that showed up, and they were like, and da 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 da, da and it's right, blah, 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 blah. it's like, like that. And they kept talking about, I don't know if it's like now, now, like the 29th, or is it like rolling into the beginning of February or like last week? What would have anything to do with him and like these weeks, like these two? Um, so our wedding anniversary is next month. Is it? Is it? Oh, is it like? Hold on. It was a huge, they kept talking about that. Actually, I think I wrote it down on my thing. Hold on. Somebody's he's saying, what do you think? You think I'm not a heartless romantic? You think I'm I'm a heartless romantic? And I was like, no, 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 I don't I don't think you are at all. I'm asking questions. Um, like they were meaning to make a really big deal about that. Like we have to, and I knew it was somebody's birthday. Um, it was like we have to talk about it. We have to let them know that we're making a big deal of this. Now I'm trying to figure out, is it like wrap it into one is it like a couple of days before or after valentine's day um yeah it's a it's yeah. well it's it's close to that yeah it's like a week or so is it, after is it okay okay there i said i said so are you valentine's day guy i said it's february he goes no 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 no. he's like he's like we can't just wrap it into one i go oh okay there's so many times that people go and so he keeps saying like it's super super close to that and i'm like all right so maybe two days i don't know he says that um mm -hmm. what he's going uh, a thousand miles a minute in my head um there's something about wishing you all the best wishing you all the best um, I don't know if he's just trying to make small talk or if there is something that we are, you know, it feels like when people are like starting out like an expedition or they're going to something new and like people are like wishing them all the best. That's the way this feels, um, a little bit, but I don't exactly know what yet. Um, cause he keeps showing me a picture of like the Titanic when they would break a sham champagne bottle on it that would float out to sea. So I'm like, oh, well, maybe it's something big. Um, let me turn on my spirit box too at the same time because we'll be able to talk like that. I just as got well. back from oh. a cruise today. Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I don't normally and, curse um, at you, but. And we went to the same place that um, him and I went on our honeymoon. Ah! Really? Oh, that is what the talk of. <gasps> That's what he was talking about earlier. Okay, somebody was talking about, and it's him now, I know. They were talking about making a baby, and they were talking about how, and, and it's not, I'm not saying that you're going to do this, but you know how, like, a lot of people, they get pregnant on their honeymoon? Uh-huh. And so he was going through, and he was giving me feelings, like, of that type of scenario. And I was like, 
I don't think she's pregnant right now. Like, I don't think that's the thing. It's because he. I've never had that happen before. That's a new sign for me. Um, so, what? He thinks he's really good. He keeps like, where's my other pillow at? Hold on. Oh, there it is. Hello, it's behind me. I'm sorry. I'm a mess right now. Give me what are. Hold on. And. He's making me here way down in Kokomo. Um, hold on. Did you go to like Jamaica? The Bahamas. You ah! ah! Okay. Did you did you okay? You heard the Kokomo song. Okay. So he goes like this. He's making me here the Bermuda Bahama. Come on, baby, mama, to Key Largo, Montego, baby. Why don't we go down to Kokomo? I guess that's not a Jamaica. That's in that today at Coco K. Shut up. Really? I was like, he doesn't seem like a whatever band that was song, but he was making yeah. me hear that. And oh, this is cool. Good job. Ooh. Thank you for confirming because you did you see these little pieces I'm getting? I'm like, I don't know yeah. what that means. Um, hold on, let me make sure my mic is okay, good. A lot of times it likes to um mess with my voice in the recording. It's gonna sound terrible, but it's good on. Um, what? Tell me. He's telling me to slow down. Oh, it just said vixen. So he's calling you a vixen. Ooh, I've never... Oh, Aaron's here! Oh, I was talking to his sister earlier. So Aaron Carter just showed up. Sorry, I was... Wow. <laughs> I was talking to his sister, like, 20 minutes before I came over here. We're on the phone. And so now we're going to take a screenshot of this, and I got to send that to her. So I was telling him to show up. So you have Aaron Carter's spirit here, too. Right now. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, so hold on. Let me see. What, what, what? Oh... Or the celebrity guest appearance. <laughs> so random. I wonder, was he... I wonder if he was the one talking about the cards as well. Um, did he ever take you to, like, go gamble? Was he, like, he wasn't a gamble, but he was, like, ah. Okay, okay. Let me tell you what happened. So, my cleaning ladies were over here today. We got some new ones. My other lady, she got sick. Um, and do I don't, I do. Okay. And when I came in here after them cleaning, I walked out mind, mind you, everything is spotless. There's like nothing out of place. And this was just sitting on my floor, this side up, like right, right here. And there, everything happens for a reason. Okay. I mean, even something like this, like everybody else would just be like, Oh, there's a card on the floor. Number one. Why, do, why is there a card in my desk? This happens to be the only one I don't. Yeah. play cards in my office okay and it was just sitting there upright and so I made a mental note I was like I don't know who's doing the gambling thing and then he just brought up the card so I have to say it's him and he says that uh he likes your waist <sighs> he just showed you with like you I don't know how big you are but you must have like a 20 inch waist or something like that or like yeah Tiny. um he yes little bitty yeah he just um he had you come up and he grabbed your waist and he made me feel like it was me and I was like oh my god like it's like very petite and he's starting right now to I know this is happy and fun and go lucky but and I know we've talked about this before in past sessions because this made a really big impact on me personally but he's like apologizing for like ever putting his hands on anything else as well. And he's essentially saying like, this is the only waste I should ever grab. And I was like, fuck yeah, it is. And so I'm yelling at him right now. And uh, what? Oh, what? Just, just, just. The freaking Titanic thing. That's... Now, I've also never been on a cruise before. So he just pulled that out of my brain. Yeah. He, um, hold on. What? Car. <gasps> Oh, yeah, that was another thing. Thank you for reminding me. Sorry, I just said car. Um, he was making me feel. Um, he was talking about a car earlier while I was doing my um, eyelashes. Um, but it was with you. I could feel your hand and your car keys. So maybe it's something to do with you. But I know you have a fairly new vehicle right now. Are you like going to do mm -hmm. something with that? Or what's up with that? No, um, I was saying this morning, I need, I need to take it into the shop just because when I turn, it sounds like, like the, it feels like the wheels are scrubbing, but they're not, they're not scrubbing. Oh. I don't know what's going on. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, it was a big thing. And he that's why. And he kept making me hear like tires. And yeah. I was like, are you right? I asked him if he was like racing hot rods. And he's essentially saying, no, dumbass. It has something to do with her. And he kept making me feel your hand and your car keys. So please go and do that. Um, and yeah. I wonder if. Ooh, I don't think it's maybe the tires. I think it may be something even deeper than that. And I wonder even if that would be. He says, of course, it's covered under warranty. So it's that brand new that something like this would be covered under warranty. Yeah, but my warranty is going to be expiring soon. Oh, well, go fucking in. Okay. Yeah. I I go like this. I said, yeah, I said, is it? I mean, mine just expired. And then my flywheel broke in my vehicle. So I had to go pay $5,000 to go do it. Anyways, like a week ago or two weeks ago. And I was like, is this what's going to happen? He's like, no, dumbass. I'm like, okay. Wait, he's a really good guy. Wait, tell me now. What have you been doing? What? He even said car on the spirit box. So he's like reminding me as it's happening. Oh, that's cool. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Pride. I know you have a pride issue, my Leo. Um, Hold on. Come here. What, 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 what? What are you showing me that for? Hmm. Odd question. He didn't have a scar on his chest, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, weird. Oh, also, he's in the bedroom with you, <laughs> apparently. So I guess you're in the bedroom right now. Is that a thing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he's over there with you right now. Um, I just said walk away. So he's like walking back and forth, just like we found him. Um, he showed me an image if somebody had like a raised scar. But it's weird. It looks like somebody got shot. And I know he didn't get shot in his chest or in his shoulder. Um, oh. Do you know if somebody is going to have shoulder surgery? That would be my other thing. Okay. But it's a man. It's a man. It's not a woman. Um, I don't know who and where. Oh, and I have another question for you on that. He's bringing this back up in my brain. Do you know if one of his friends just died? Or like recently died. Okay. I would either say put in the friend or cousin category. Because that's how they both feel. Um, I don't know how. I don't know why. But earlier the same gentleman. Him that was talking about your vehicle. um, Kept coming in. And he almost felt frantic. He was talking about something. Now cousin and friend feel the same for me. Because they're so far out. But like you can still be really cool with them. You know. And people can say oh that's my cousin. That's my friend. Um, I wonder it's going to be a male and, uh, it's going to happen fast and it's going to happen tragically if it hasn't already. Um, but it doesn't feel like somebody that his mom would talk to. So that's why I'm even leaning that it goes more of a friend. So you may hear this through the grapevine, um, and then email me and let me know when that's. It's odd. He, um, tell me. Hold on. Hold on. Whoa, 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 what? He was talking about his favorite food earlier. Um, one. It's very almost like. Did he really like hot wings? He did, yeah. So random. Somebody made me taste um, hot, like hot wings with like ranch, which was interesting. Um, he's not a blue cheese person, then, correct? Mm-mm. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I love it. I said, "What do you eat yours with?" And he says, "Ranch." And I go, "Oh, you're gross." And so we're essentially <laughs> talking shit. Um, that was that whole conversation for half of a second. And he's trying to bring up other food in my brain, but I don't know if I've ever tasted it before. So let's keep going. Hold on. Come here. Come here. One, 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 one. I ate his favorite food for lunch. Shut. Shush. That's why he's bringing a favorite because you just did. Oh, hold on. Oh, that's so cool. Good job. Oh, oh, that's acknowledgement. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let's see. Um, let's see if he can pull it out of my brain. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? 
I don't know. That seems oddly heavy for lunch. Hold on. He didn't have some sort of like... I don't know. I'm going between almost like pizza or something that you pick up like that. But like you have, I don't know. What is it? What is his favorite food? I may not know what it is. What is it? Yeah. He loved like beef bulgogi. It's like a Korean. Well, oh, that's why he's, oh, okay. He goes like this. He keeps saying it's authentic, authentic, authentic. And I go, Okay, what does that mean? I was like, maybe something Italian? And he keeps showing me beef. And I'm like, all right, authentic beef. And he's making me feel like carbs. And so I'm like, all right, maybe it goes along with like I did. Some, but we had rice. You did. Okay. Oh, how interesting. Oh, my God. If he would have been able to pull that out of my head, that would have been amazing. I've only had that like one time. And I think I was like 21 a long time ago. Um. Hold on. And it wasn't very good where I got it, but I know it's supposed to be great. Um, he, why? That's why he was talking about the spicy. He loves the spicy. He likes mm -hmm. it. I know a lot of Korean stuff can either be really spicy or not at all. And I said, what about you? And he goes, ah, hot, hot. I was like, oh, okay, good. And that's, look at that. Oh, that's cool. Good job, girl. Oh, <laughs> hold on. That's why he kept talking about doing it in honor. He, what? Mm. Vision. Yeah. Hold on. Tell me about that. And you do have glasses? Mm -mm. Okay. So well, I, I just got a new pair of sunglasses, but. Oh. When did you buy that? Christmas. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. He just put glasses and then he put like, don't lose them over and over again. Like, you need them. You need to keep them. And I'm like, oh, okay. And. what he says you're looking fly you're looking fresh and i'm like tell me the brand that's what i told him um he has you go and i think he's trying to hold on weird so do you already have like a pair of ray-bans and these are like versace or something big do you have any idea what is that yeah <laughs> My glasses I just got are Versace, and I have a pair of <laughs> Ray-Bans that I saved. And I have a pair of Ray-Bans. That's the ones I would always wear. And then I just got a pair of Versace glasses for Christmas. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Look at him. He's been with me since like 11 o'clock this morning, and it's 3.20 right now. He's been boo-bopping. Yeah, do you want to know what he just did? So he showed me glasses he put them on and I said what is this and he says my husband my my husband he says Ray-Ban Ray-Ban I go okay he says but they're and he puts them almost like as surfing or something or like more um not as stylish and I go oh okay he says but she wears them they're very practical and then I go well what is what about the other one and then he flashed me Donatella Versace's face in my head like with the the massive lip you know when she's like this age and I go ain't no way Ain't no way. Then he puts the lion head. And I was like, okay. It's yeah, Versace. They have the gold so lion heads on the side. Oh! Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, good job. Oh, you're so great. And he, what, tell me. See, he knows. He's doing better. He knows how to do this. And he says that, tell me, what are you doing with that? Uh huh? <sighs> He's talking about uh, Christmas time. He's talking about, um, hold on, maybe, nah. Interesting, were there little, I mean, those are, those are your kids, though. Um, yeah, he says, he says, Christmas time, Christmas time. Kids were talking about me. Kids saw me. Kids were talking about me. Oh, I was trying to be there. I go, oh, okay. I said, does she have kids? And he was like, yeah, dumbass. I was like, oh, thank you, S. I do remember that now. He's like putting all this stuff in my head. And he says that um, he was talking about the North. 
star. He's their North Star. That's when he wants people to know. And he's talking about the, oh, he shows me the three wise men. I have no idea why. Um, hold on. Is it weird that I want one of your kids to be in like a Christmas pageant program and like be a part of it or act in it or something? I have no idea. Ellie, what is that about? Uh, Ellie was, um, she had a dance um, recital or Christmas show that she did. Really? She's in dance. Really? Ah! Stop. Yeah. He put the <laughs> stage up. He put a stage in my head and he had everybody go. Yes. And then and then I'm like, I'm like, they don't go to church because that's what I grew up in. It was like being in like these Christmas shows like for church and stuff. I was like, is she like a donkey? Was she the three wise men? And he's like, no, no, no. And he's like, just say it. Just say it. Play pageant. I was like, all right, cool. Um, Oh, yeah. He was there for that. Absolutely. 110 percent. And what? Hold on. Interesting. Was she trying to act really calm and cool and confident with you for that? Oh, yes. good, good. I said, so yeah. tell me about um, her. How was she acting? I, didn't, I know I would always like lose a screw, essentially. I'd be like, oh, my God, I'm so nervous. And he goes, no, no, no. She's just back there like, mm -hmm, yeah, it's OK. Mm -hmm. He's like, but okay. I can tell she was nervous and I went with her. I was right there. And he flashes a picture of like the side of her, like a profile of her. And he's like right here with her going with her and she says that hold on rocking around the christmas tree okay okay um hold on what hmm did they do that? Like, I guess that's a sugar plum. No, no, no. Mm -mm. Oh, did you go to like a Christmas market? Uh, we we ended up going to a, a place uh, called Gaylord Palms, and it's in um, Orlando, Florida, and it has like oh. a. Uh, it's like a resort and they have like a whole little Christmas town in there and they had like Charlie Brown like Christmas ice sculpture. Oh. oh, that's cool. Oh, okay. So if you if you want to later on, I want you to look up it's called the Nutcracker Market. It's in Houston and it's the biggest in the United States and essentially they have all that. I've never been there. I've only even though I'm from there my entire life. I've only seen pictures and seen a few videos of it. But it's like you stay over the weekend there. It's essentially like this Christmas resort type of thing. And you buy everything and they have ice skating and like all in the little town set up. Yeah. And um, I said, so why are you making me here dance to the Sugar Plum Fairies? And he's talking about the Nutcracker. And so I was like, oh, did they see that? He goes, no. And he's like, the, the market. And I was like, oh, so it's something like that. So he went with y'all for that. I'm just telling you how he talks. That way when he talks yeah. to you down the line, you're like, oh, this is what they're talking about. Um, he says that, oh, store, what do you, what about it? Oh, hold on, hold on, tell me. Hmm. I think something is going to happen with, like, one of your teeth coming up, or maybe there's, like, is there something going on with, like, one of them right now? Yeah. Oh, okay, he just made me touch, he saw me go up and, like, touch my teeth, and there's a reason for me yeah, doing like that. Um, receding, like, gum. Oh, but also, our really? daughter chipped her tooth a couple days ago because she fell. Oh, oh, <laughs> yes, both, probably both. Yeah, and he, but you didn't take her to the, the dentist because it wasn't that bad? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I chipped mine and they had to go grind it all down. Um, I go, so what happened, what happened? And I said, did they grind it? Was it a point? He goes, no, 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 they're fine, they're fine. And so that's another thing. He just knows. He, his eye made me touch him. He goes, what? Come here, bud. This 
Stop Stop calling me buddy. He's it's Mr. Nico to you. I was like, oh, okay, Mr. Nico. Sure. Uh Uh-huh. You're in my head. And he's just funny. He's just like joking back and forth. He, um, tell me, what about her? Mm. You should have seen what? Was the ring, like the engagement ring he got you, was it like a pretty hefty rock? Um, it was, yeah, it was like somewhat, decent, it was, it was a good size. Decent. Yeah. He, I said, uh, I'm asking him, uh, what does he want to talk about? And he just wants to like impress us. He likes to impress people. And he says, though, you know, I think it's cause he's talking about my wedding ring or whatever. And he says, yeah, you have seen it. It's pretty, it's pretty good. It's good for what I did. I did a lot. I was like, all right, good. I was like, I'd love it. And she says that, tell me, oh, it's interesting at some point I would have loved for you to get like a wedding ring tattoo or something. That's so random. Were you thinking about that but never actually went through with it? Oh, shut up. I have one. What what is that? Is that a heart? It looks like a heart. Yeah, and I got that before I even married him. Cuz I knew that it, but I I was with him, but I ha- we hadn't even been engaged yet and I was like I want that. Go home. I don't understand that. Oh, see, if I would have ever seen that, on, I mean, we've never done hands before, but I would have been like, oh, she has a cool mole on her finger. Like, that's because obviously everything's blurry, right? Yeah. Um, wow. He, he says, he says uh, I can do one better. I said, what? And the only ones I've ever seen were like either just a band or they put like a cross on it. I said, and he put that cross on your hand and I go. She didn't have that. He was like, no, ask her about this wedding ring tattoo. I was like, okay. Um, and so, like, that's his true one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, dude, good job. Oh, hold on. I have to calm myself down. I get way too excited. Um, what? Hold on. This is amazing. I'm so glad you're here. Hold mm-hmm. on. Come here. What, 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 what? He is down by your feet. Um, He's like actually like down by your feet right now um i don't know why so i can worship the ground she walks on duh um and i quote that was the phrase hold on (laughs) tell me so what so the bagolgi did you have it left over no odd odd okay he's talking about keeping leftovers and then getting them out later and i'm like i have no idea were you able to save it i threw out the leftovers oh shut up oh so he's telling you to save it oh (laughs) so it's like save some for him so i want to let you know whenever you eat that he eats it with you like he experiences that with you because he goes through your body and feels oh. it so if so while you're eating so that's that's what i found even with my dad or with other spirits as well they'll make me taste stuff and it's because they get in your body and they're trying to enjoy it with you because that's how they do it and yeah. he what what tell me about it hold on okay i'm switching up with him um he's telling me about my family that's over there now he oh and there was a man there for you too there was like some weird but your mother's father is crossed over right yeah yeah he was talking about him earlier i don't know why um along with the whole they talk a lot in a very quick amount of time so i can get all these things in you know like five seconds right but it's like 10 different conversations um and they were talking about him and now he is around you and he watches you and how he's like your guard or your guardian whatever you want to call it um and uh he says that one shush interesting was your mother trying to take care of him or was she trying to watch him but it never actually worked out like before he crossed over yeah or what is up with she that was trying to help him she yeah. was trying to help him so yeah she just goes like this he says uh he says tell her mother i said what he 
he says that he's here and like appreciates her intent or appreciates her trying to come over and help I said or trying to help him with this but he kind of like pushed it back or like didn't want it or whatever it was it was difficult in some way um and he says but he's around now like taking care of both of them um he says that what how weird was like the dad he wasn't from georgia right mm -hmm. shut the fuck up stop really yeah that's where i'm from mm -hmm. okay it's so clear when he's talking it makes my logical side of my brain even though I do this my entire life and it's my favorite thing, there are sometimes when spirits can figure out how to use my brain like a computer that it just freaks me out a little bit, like seeing a cup fly across the room. And so like right there, I said, where is he from? Do you know? He says, oh, and he, he says he's, he loves being in the mountains of Georgia. And I was like, I don't even know that Georgia had mountains. And he was like, yeah, that's where he hangs out now. And I was like, okay. Um, Hold on. It wasn't really from there, but you know, he creates his home there. That's that's where where he likes to stay. I go, oh, okay, so that's his version of heaven. That's fine. And he, yeah, hold on. He, your grandfather, what? What? And your mom has a sister. Mm -hmm. Is she a worthless piece of poo? Oh, okay. He says, take that, you worthless piece of shit. I was like, well, that's harsh. And he's talking about the sister. I mean, and I quote, he says, that's for her mom's sister. I was like, I, and he's talking about maybe she has darkness in her heart or something, or she wasn't helping out or family drama. I'm here for it. And he says that, uh, he's like, an, he's like, talking to her about it you get it she's telling her to get it straight get it straight get it right hold on but your mom and her talk ever so often but they're not bffs right at all yeah, yeah. he says uh he's essentially saying that the other sister not your mom but the other one like talks crap about mom or like has evil intentions in her heart or a lot of negativity and he's saying like you get that shit right otherwise you're gonna go to the bad place later on I don't care what it is I don't care that you think you're superior you shut up and he's he's like I'm gonna give her a warning do you think she'd listen to me no I don't think so. I don't think she'd listen to you he's talking about me I said oh okay he says I'm just here he says uh, he's he's learned a lot of things better than he says even when he tripped balls. So apparently he has done psychedelics in some form or fashion before. Yeah, um, he he says, he goes, Amy, this is crazy. This is cra I didn't even know I could do this. He says, even when I trip balls, I would never imagine that I would be doing this. And I was like, oh, OK. And he's talking about how he knows that look on your face. He says, I know that look. I know that look. I go, oh, I don't know what look you're talking about. But he's, okay, I get it. And he, he's amazing. He says, thank you. He, tell me about her. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He likes my room. Um, Tell me what. Uh, He's talking about the last time we spoke. He's talking about afterwards. Um, Hold on. Oh, so you stayed in your bedroom after we had our last session for a little bit and then you went to the bathroom afterwards okay he's walking around you I guess afterwards and he's creating a space in my head and he says when you and I talked you and I talked last he says got off the call and he says that he was walking around the bed talking to you over and over again saying like I'm glad you finally heard me I'm glad you know I'm here I glad you know this and he's talking about you um tearing up or getting red face which means like crying in a certain way or getting to that deep point and um he's like yes 
yes. And then he says that he followed you to the bathroom and he has you going like this, which means taking the under eye, whatever it is, off of it. Um, and then you talk to him, I think. I think you said something out loud or something. I think there was stuff I because I hear you. you did. You did. Okay. Yeah, because he goes, I see your mouth going. But I can feel the intention. And he says, like, I got it. I got it. I was there for that. And just to confirm, and he says that, what? Did you start implementing a new practice with your kids? Or did they, like, talk to him more or something? Or do we include him in prayers more or something at night? I started um, taking my son to uh, interactive play therapy for um, grief really yeah you did implement wow good job oh he's he goes like this he says i'm very happy i said what he says like her implementing now i don't i've never seen any of that before but he says like her implementing new activities kids involving or because of me and i'm like oh oh and how they can talk about it good job oh he's very happy and Really? And so he's not doing it right now? We've already, we're done with it for a little bit? Uh, no, he, uh, he didn't. Are we on a break? That's why. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. He says, he says, um, uh, he goes, so-and-so, so I said, so how is it going? How is it going? He says, oh, so-and-so, so-and-so. Oh, there's a break, but he's going to go back. He really likes it. And I go, oh, so that's why he missed those two. And, um, ooh, good job. Um, hold on. He tried to make me feel like he was too tired to go. And, um, and that's what he was trying to talk about the break. But I just read it. I was like, maybe we stopped for, maybe there's like a semester of it. I don't know. That's the break. Yeah. Um, he says that, tell me, whoa, whoa, what? ooh, what is that? Why are you talking about Etsy in my brain? Random. Um, hold on. Does your daughter have a hooded towel? Yes. So random. He's just talking about hooded towels. He's talking about Etsy for some reason. I don't know if Etsy is related to hooded towels or maybe if you've just been looking at it a lot the last few days. I have no idea Um, because I bought I was going to buy one for my son like four years back from Etsy. So I don't know if those go together, if those are two separate comments. Um, And then he showed me a gold ring. You have those set of rings that like go on like this part of the finger too. Mm-mm. Okay, yeah. I, I he just showed me like that, but on a Etsy web page. Um, hold on, and I'm like, I don't think she's going and getting handcrafted gold rings on Etsy. That doesn't seem like a thing. Um, hold on, tell me. What? So the TV in the living room, we only use it to make noise. We don't actually watch it. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, I'm here for it. Sorry. Now he's in what would be a living room. I said, tell me about this. And he says that he's sitting on this couch and he says, what are you doing with that TV? You know, she only uses it to make noise. She actually doesn't watch it. I go, oh. Okay, well, that's cool. I said, I can, I'm down with that. And he says that he says that he would like you to sit down with him because he would cuddle you on the couch. He would. I would not be surprised if you ended up, like, watching a movie there by yourself one day, like, and you felt a presence. Yeah. Just FYI. You could probably record it, too, and get something. He, hold on, Boston. Air. 
is there somebody like in the northeast right now that's related to you like what you're not a mass hole that's the whole thing do you have any idea Um, no, his, uh, his sister lives in, uh, Maryland. Maryland oh okay okay so it's probably and she's married okay he says she's married she's doing her own thing and i said okay good weird i wonder if they're gonna have a baby soon or something like that Mm-hmm. They are. She's due any day. <laughs> he's making fun of my dress can i tell you how that came up okay so this is farm rio i got it from sax with avenue it's not bad okay and so we're sitting here we're having like a a shit show and he says he shows me up east and i go what is this and he you said the sister and i said why are you bringing her up and he goes oh yeah yeah you see she can wear one of your dresses like you have it goes out like this and he's talking about how like it's the empire waist and this pulls open Um, and I go, I go, is she like heavier? And he's like, no, dumbass, there's a baby in her. And I'm like, oh, okay. So, oh, that's probably could also be associated with a very beginning statement too. So double, but uh, I, I would have to say it goes for the anniversary for you more. Um, His, and then both this of his sisters one. are having, both of his sisters are having babies, <gasps> one in February and one in March. Ah! <laughs> Stop. Oh, please. Can you, can you talk, can you tell them he brought them up? I will. Like, please, or like share this. Um, yeah, he's talking about how my dress is an empire. And so like the belly could go underneath it. And he's talking about a couple of things. One, how beautiful they are. But two, that he's going to be there for who's the one that is going, who's going to have the boy. Christina, and she lives in Maryland. That's that one! Oh! He says that he's gonna have the chubby cheeks. That's what he oh. says. And he keeps putting his face on him over and over and over again. So yeah, so you see how all this is in line with exactly what he's talking about? Yeah. And he says that He says, girl, you're going to go natural. Oh, no. Um, is, like, one of them going to try to have, like, a more natural birth or something? Do you have any idea? I'm not sure. Okay, okay. I don't think they're having a water birth. I don't think anything like that at home. I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, but but I don't think yeah. that. I, he's, I think he's just trying to give her advice, like, get drugs. Yeah. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> so there may also be, like, a joke in there. There, um, hold on. That's amazing. Good job. You're he's like showing up to the game and he's like knocking it out of the park. Um and he what? What? Now because we we looped the sisters in here, I don't know. Um is somebody getting a did a Christmas puppy? Or is there something to do with a dog and Christmas? No, but um, I got the kids a pet for Christmas. I got them a gecko. Oh, okay. Oh, and it's brand new and they've never had one before, correct? Right. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say that goes with it, especially because I've never had a gecko. I've never actually really looked at one before. And he keeps saying new and, and can be a lot of work. Mm -hmm. So uh-huh oh good job mom and what hold on and it got to go in not your daughter's room no but i put it on something that came from her room really really mm -hmm. okay yeah he goes like this he says i said um so where is it at can you tell me and he says daughter's room and i go okay well what he says not in her room And I go, oh, and it's like, I right hear maybe, the, oh, it is. Yes. I hear it like them going like my room, my room, my room, my room. And I'm like, oh, okay, so that means we didn't let it be. He, what? Hold on. Mm. 
is it? Hold on. Oh, I just said marriage. Oh, hold on. Weird. Did we end up putting it on like a tiny dresser that looks almost like ah okay, but it's not. It's not big. It's like yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, good job. I said, can you tell me what it's on? What does it look like? And he made it white in my head. I don't think it is white, but um, is white. it, is it? Okay. All right, we're good there. Okay. Um, and he, <laughs> he made it white, and I said, can you tell me what we put it on? And he says, you know, uh, and he's filing through my brain. Um, and he shows me something like what would be like my son's old, um, changing table, like that size or like my son's old dresser yes. or where I would keep extra stuff. Yeah. And he pulls it out and he goes, Boom. and I go, oh, okay. Okay. I gotcha. I'm right there. And he says, uh, he watches it and I just want to be called Gary the gecko, but I don't think we went that like that. Or Lord Fakwa. I don't know. We should have just made it like something very interesting. What did we name it? I'm gonna I'm not gonna be able to get that. I you know, I probably would if I gave Heaven. it more time. It is a man's name. <laughs> yeah, he goes through and I was like I said, Can you tell me the name? I was like, Do you name it like Speedy or something? And he says, like, no, like, hey man, like I'm Gary the Gecko. Oh, it's Kevin the Gecko. Okay. It's after I'm good with uh, Kevin Parker from Tame and Paula. What is Tame and Paula? What is that? It's, Tell me about it. He's a physician. Um, so what I was trying, we ran out of time last time, but I ended up getting yeah. a tattoo for Nico because our favorite musician, um, his name's Tame and Paula, and it's some of the best music. Oh. You'll have to take a listen to it. It's kind of like okay. indie, but psychedelic, oh, yeah. calming. Um, okay, wait, also, okay, tell me, tell me the name, say, how do you spell it? Tame, T-A-M-E, and uh -huh. then Impala, I-M-P-A-L-A. -A. Okay, okay, all right, I'm looking that up, this is my but MRI I CD. I tattoo for... Oh, know, my God. Oh, my God. This is uh, my favorite song, it has a lot of meaning, and then him and I always pinky promise for everything, so... So it's two hands doing the pinky promise and then eventually is in the Tame Impala font. Okay, well, I'm, hold on, eventually. All right, I'm listening to that tonight. I got Perfect. it. I got it. I'll email you and yeah. let you know. Yes, no, see, now he would have never been able to pull that out of my brain. I would have been like, probably, I would have been like, uh, why is he talking about an Impala car? Do you have any idea? That's probably where that would have gone. Um, <laughs> he, tell me, oh, but, hold on, come here. down by your feet again um you don't have like an ankle tattoo right mm -mm. yeah okay is there something going on with your right ankle or like your right foot do you have any idea yeah okay yeah i don't know it's the second time to show up down there and then he specifically shows me your little bone that pops out so i would have to say one of two things this could be a thing that shows up in the future so maybe like over the next couple of days, be really careful about like walking. That would be that. Or maybe you walk out and you like absolutely hit the shit out of your ankle and you have this massive bruise there coming up. And so just email me and let me know. But he's like okay. there for it. Um, that would be the only two reasons. He, tell me, hold on, hold on. Come here. I'm trying to get him to put the song, the music in my head, but because I've never heard it, I, um, He just put the, can I have your daughter for the rest of my life? Say yes, say yes, because I need to know. Um, oh, why you got to be so rude? I don't know. Interesting. I haven't heard that song since like 2011, 10. Wow, that's a long time ago. Um, yeah, go listen. I'm going to marry her anyway. Oh, he's still in love with you, dude. Like, he's, he's all about that. And... 
I love your hair. Wait, are you, you're not considering like chopping it down to like here, right? No. Yeah. He says, tell her to not get it cut. I said, oh, I said, okay, I'll tell her that. I said, that's fine. I said, it's beautiful. It's long. It's gorgeous. He says that, um, tell me. He says he can't do ecstasy now. I said, oh, well, I know. That's okay. That's good. Um, and he, I did it one time. And I will never do it again. Uh, oh, I'm still a raver, but we rave together. Shut up. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's cool. Oh, my God. Yeah, he goes through and he just made me. Um, I tried like the pure, the shard, like the hardcore stuff one time. And I guess with my illness that I have, I thought I was going to die. Like, people talk about a bad trip. And I stared at, like, the bathroom faucet for, like, three hours. I thought it was like, no, <laughs> never again. Um, yeah, we'll have, to, we'll have to talk about that. I don't think that was a normal response. But he's he's saying, partic oh, particularly, too, that he not only can't experience it anymore, um, but just make sure with you, too. If and when you do it, obviously it's a thing and it doesn't matter. It doesn't have any ill effect on your body that really, really watch out for who and where you're getting it from. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then he just went, he showed me Mexico. So I was like, oh, okay. So we're talking about like fentanyl. That's where I'm, I'd be going with this. Mm -hmm. um, and he says that, tell me. He Now he's making me go. And he is. He's so funny. He just showed me um, Steve-O from Jackass and he put on little like red shorts. What are you doing? Um, hold on. Give me one second. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Tell me. She what? Okay, this is a random question. Um, in this home, do you have somewhere where there is like a black or a dirty fingerprint from him? Or like fingerprints? Or like, so he made me feel like, like I'm not saying you go and he picks up firewood, but like he showed me like a, like on a door when you go through and like the, the, I don't remember what you call it, the molding or whatever around it. And he showed me if you grab that with like soot on your hand or something and you can see like the wisp of it. And then I asked him, I said, why are you grabbing soot? Um, and then he's talking about maybe it's from like, do you have any idea? Like what is yeah, that? Yeah, I do. And the reason why he's probably saying that the, the wood or whatever, because downstairs like there's in the entryway of my house it's um that wooden paneling on the wall what's it called shiplap yeah yes and it's yes. painted it's... Like, like white and so there yeah. was like one of his handprints there from when he had like grabbed the wall with a dirty hand shut up it. yeah it's still there yeah <laughs> I have white shiplap in my, that's actually, he kept talking about specifically where I'm at in here. If I could take my camera off right now, I'd show you. And he's talking about like, if he walks in through this door and he shows me like the fingerprints or like whatever this is on it and he's not meaning mm -hmm. to do it. And he's saying he was walking down, touching your wall in my head. He was like, yeah, I used to be here. I used to live here. And you know, I still do. In fact, and he shows me that and I go, Okay, um, so just know that he knows. So when you touch that, you are kind of like touching him. Oh. And he'll show up for it. Okay, 